Hi, I'm Chris from Oxford in the United Kingdom. I've been in Hangzhou for about three years teaching economics. Right now, I'm still at the Westlake. It is widely acknowledged that the beauty of Hangzhou lies mostly in the Westlake. The Westlake was known for the Ten Views as far back as the Southern Song Dynasty between the 12th and 13th century. The Ten Views are Spring Dawn at Su Causeway, Lotus in the Breeze at Crooked Courtyard, Autumn Moon over the Calm Lake, Melting Snow at Broken Bridge, Orioles Singing in the Willows, Viewing Fish at Flower Harbour, Sunset Glow at Leifeng Pagoda, Twin Peaks, Piercing Clouds, Evening Bell at Namping Hill, and Three Pools Mirroring the Moon. The top 10 views are distributed around and within the lake and serve to show the charms of the Westlake through a use of varying locations, varying seasons and varying times of day. The Westlake cultural landscape of Hangzhou was added to the World Cultural Heritage List in 2011. So, how did the Westlake get formed? According to the historical records, at the end of the 3rd century BC, the Westlake was then a bay connected to the Chiantang River. There were two hills at the north and south of the bay, one called Wu Hill and the other called Stone Hill. Later, due to the tidal impact, the bay was gradually isolated and became an inner lake, which is the Westlake that we see today. When enjoying the beauty of the Westlake today, we shall not forget the two ancient celebrities. One is Bai Jui in Tang Dynasty, and the other is Su Dongpo in Song Dynasty. They both are famous Chinese poets and once served as officials in Hangzhou. The two causeways across the lake, the Bai and the Su, were named after their surnames. In 822 AD, during the Tang Dynasty, Bai Jui, as the governor of Hangzhou, presided over the dredging of the Westlake. Under his command, a vast amount of silt and mud were dug out from the lake and skillfully used to build a causeway across the water. The lake thus regained its limpidity and refreshed its beautiful scenery. In order to commemorate him, people named the causeway as Bai Causeway. As a famous poet, Bai Jui composed a large number of poems extolling the Westlake and its beauty. Thanks to his poems, the lake rose in fame and became a scenic spot favoured by literati thereby. In 1090 AD, the Song Dynasty scholar, Su Dongpo, the then mayor of Hangzhou, dredged the Westlake on an unprecedented scale. He built a long causeway flanked by willows and peaches across the lake, and six stone arch bridges were built on the causeway from south to north. In honour of Mayor Su's achievements, the causeway was named Su Causeway. During his term in Hangzhou, 
Mea Su, was attracted by the West Lake so much that in his poem he compared the lake to the legendary beauty Xi Shi of ancient China, saying, Rippling waters shimmering on a sunny day, misty mountains shrouded in rain, plain or gaily dressed like Shi Tzu, West Lake is always alluring. The West Lake thus got her nickname, Shi Tzu Lake. Apart from historical sites, the West Lake is rich in beautiful myths and legends. Since ancient times, there have been folk legends such as Madam White Snake and Butterfly Lovers related to the West Lake and attracting visitors from all over the country. Today, we look at the beauty of the West Lake as the idealized fusion between man and nature. The West Lake is a natural lake and a cultural lake. It comprises numerous temples, pagodas, pavilions, gardens and ornamental trees, as well as causeways and artificial islands. Reflecting the ideals of Chinese landscape aesthetics and allows it to inspire people to project feelings onto the landscape. Hangzhou, 欢迎你!